Good evening, Les Hill from Less Is More Coaching. Tonight, we are taking on being present. Last night, we talked about listening. And even more today, due to the fact that we're at home and we're stuck behind computers, behind phones, doing Zoom, it is really easy to not do a great job of listening and definitely very, very easy to not be present. Tonight, I want to offer you a few tricks. First off, if you're leading the meeting, here are a few tricks. Watch the eyes of the people that are on the Zoom. It's very simple to see them doing this with their head. And most of the times, that means that the camera's up here. They're looking down, and a lot of them can do stuff on their computers and be doing work while they're on their Zoom call. And the thing about that is we... I just laugh because I had a memory of my uh, mom and dad. Mom would always say, I can multitask. Your father can't. And the truth and the scientific fact of the matter is no one can multitask. No one. Your brain does one thing at one time. What it does do is it switches between things very fast. Talk about shiny objects. It goes brr, 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 back and forth through all the things, keeping track of your heart, your mind, your lungs, breathing, all of these things. It is doing that super fast. Being present takes something. It takes something to hone in, to watch, to listen, to actually connect with the person. And now on Zoom, when we're doing Zoom, it's really hard. And the thing that I can tell you is to look at the camera. Look right at the camera as if it's that person and you're looking right through the camera into that person's face. Literally staring right into it. Then, being present requires that as the stuff and the noise, the surrounding stuff, Bob peeks in and tries to steal you away and a shiny object comes flying through. Woo! The opportunity is to come back to what am I doing? Who am I listening to? How do I stay present? Oh, this is a meeting. How can I be a contribution? Listen for where you can be a competent. A, 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 <laughs> listen for where you can be a contribution. The other thing about being present is really taking a moment before the meeting to clear your mind of anything that may be in the way, to come prepared. Even if it's with a blank slate, it requires something to have that blank slate be available to be present. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it gave you something to ponder. The next time you're meeting with somebody in person, the eyes tell everything. If your eyes are all over the place, it means you're not present. It means that you are being distracted by something else. I invite you to get to know the people that you're in interactions with. Really get to know them. For instance, one of the tricks with Zoom, when you've got a lot of faces up on the screen, is to look at one of those, have the camera set so that it's at the height, so that as you're looking, you're literally looking right, up, just as if you're looking directly at the camera, and you can see the face of the person. And start to be responsible for who you are and how you show up and be present. I look forward to any questions you might have with this video. Please put them in the comment line or feel free to reach out to me at 612-867-0104.
And by the way, feel free to go to my website, Les Hill, L E S H I W L dot I N F O. And I would love for you to peruse my website, sharing comments as well. Thank you. Have a blessed evening. And we'll see you tomorrow. God bless.